Hello there everybody, this is uh, CP666 with you for an unboxing of yet another thumb drive. This one is a 32 gig drive. The reason why I bought it is because my uh, my SanDisk 8 gig drive that I've had for years is um, starting to have read errors. So uh, let's get right down to it. Before I unbox it, let's take a look at what they have to say for themselves. It is a Lexar product. It is an S50 32 gig. High speed USB. It is not USB 3, but I don't care. Those drives were freaking expensive. If you wanted to get a USB 3 drive, and they didn't even have any that were decent anyway, so. It actually has a microband anti whatever the heck that says. I can't read it. Maybe the camera can. I think I have macro mode on. I could sit still. Might read it. There you go. Okay, so it fights the growth of stain and odor causing bacteria, which is a good thing. My uh, Kingston drive has that too, so. Yes, I wanted to actually get one that had the um, the drive space remaining indicator like my uh, 4 gig Lexar drive has, but they don't have any of those. I'm under the impression that they really don't make those anymore. Well, they do, but they don't sell them at cheap stores. So, the Jump Drive S50 provides secure portability storage backed by Lexar's performance, quality, and reliability. It allows you to easily transfer, store, and share important files, carry your photos, music, video, and more. And I think I've gone through this already. The difference with this, I went through it on my Kodak because it's ex exactly the same package, really. Because if you don't know, the Kodak drive is made by Lexar as well. It has a two-year warranty on it, and then the rest is not important. We have some other information, so you know what? Let's just unpackage the beast and see where we go from there. Now, this is bound to be um interesting. Yeah, this is definitely interesting. Actually, no, this is a better package than the um, Kodak was in. Uh, oh, okay, we don't need that. Is there any other information in here? Nope, there is not. So that's what it looks like. That's kind of stupid. Okay. So you squeeze it in order to push it up. Uh, but there's no cover on the front. That's kind of cheap. Oh, and you can't, ah, uh, you can't put it on a thing. Yeah, that's even more cheap. Um, <laughs> I suppose I'll figure out a way to do it, but... Ah, cheapos. I hate cheapos. That's the way things are going now. You know what? I actually have a use for this. I'm not going to put it on my keyring, though. So, yeah, there's that. What I want to do is I want to eliminate then a sand disk drive. And I'm also going to use this to eliminate a couple of other drives. So, uh, I'll be back in a second, and we're going to take a look at the drive itself. Okay, so on further inspection, I found out that I can do it like this. I needed a really small one to get on around there. I was thinking that it wasn't, it couldn't be possible that I wouldn't be able to do that, but obviously it's not. So I've, I pulled this off of a, a Rubik's Cube keychain that I'll never put on my keychain because it's too big. And my keychain is big enough as it is. So uh, now we can go and uh, test this. See what it's all about. Okay, so let's plug it in. See what explodes first. The stick. Or windows. Left my um, earbuds in there. Because I was editing. Okay. 
turn up the volume here. We have a Lexar N drive. You can't really see that. It should be empty. That's what it's formatted as. I have two Lexar drives now. But I've formatted the other one a good number of times. So let's take a look at what we're going to put on there. So everything from this drive, first of all. All this crap that's right here, I'm going to take off of it, and I'm going to put onto the end drive. Because this is all... I don't know how many errors this is going to give me, too, because the drive is old. You can see it's not communicating very fast. It's running off of an old standard, so... So that's going to take a while. And then I can dispose of that SanDisk drive. Well, again, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I might just send voltage into it, so... That'll probably be what I'm going to do in a future video. Alright, so that whirring sound in the background that you may or may not be able to hear is my PowerBook G4 burning a, uh, burning a DVD. Because neither of my two ThinkPads can burn a DVD. They both have DVD-ROM CDRWs in them, which means that they cannot write to a DVD. And it just so happens that the image that I want to burn is a DVD. Anyway, that doesn't matter. This drive is, um, done, I'm going to guess. There's no other transfers going on. So I'm going to make sure that everything is here. Everything should be there. Everything should be okay. So uh, I can remove this uh, SanDisk drive and not worry about it now. Out you come. That's the drive, by the way. It is, does it have a date on it? Made in China, so it doesn't have a date on it. So that's what it looks like once again. Thank you for checking out my uh, video about this thumb drive. If you have your comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, this is CP666 signing off. Uh, I'll see you next time. Till then.